Hello and welcome to another episode of the iGoldRush Report, where you learn all about domain names, what to do with them, and how to make money with them. I'm Paul Goldstein, CEO and owner of iGoldRush.com, and I hope you enjoy this episode. Hello, and welcome to the iGoldRush special, Developing Domain Names into Brands. I'm your host, Morgan Linton, and this is our second episode. It's November 2011. I'm really excited to talk to you guys today about WordPress. WordPress is one of the easiest ways to get a basic website onto your domain name. The great thing about WordPress is you don't have to know anything about servers or FTP, and you don't have to know anything about HTML or CSS or JavaScript. That's right, no server knowledge and no development knowledge, and you can still get a nice looking website onto your domain name. Now I'm gonna show you how to install WordPress with a few simple clicks, and then I'm going to show you the WordPress dashboard and how to use things like themes to change the way your site looks, as well as use plugins to protect your WordPress installation and make a few little SEO tweaks. By the time you're done with this lesson, you'll know how to put a website onto your domain name. You'll be able to start posting articles right away. Ready to get started? Let me show you how easy it is to install WordPress. Installing WordPress is unbelievably simple if you're using cPanel, because you don't have to know anything about servers or FTP, there's a really cool app that takes care of it all for you, and it's called Fantastico Deluxe. What happens is, when you log into your cPanel account, and this is an example, I'm using the service Domainit, which offers hosting, domain registration, and when they do the hosting services, they have cPanel. And you'll find that there's other hosting providers like HostGator that also do this. When you're logged in to your hosting account, what you're going to want to do is scroll down here to software slash services and just select Fantastico Deluxe. This is the tool that will install WordPress for you. You don't have to write any code. You don't have to know anything about servers. I can't emphasize that enough. All you do is select WordPress from the menu here, and it will say, okay, you can now install WordPress. All you have to do then is select new installation, and then you'll pick the name that you want to install it onto. So in this case, I want to install it on golfcartrepairs.com. You pick the install directory, and then what you'll do is you'll just set up your admin name and your admin password, and then pick a nickname and put the email address that you're going to use for the account. Click install WordPress and that's it. It will install WordPress for you and before you know it, you'll be logging in and ready to access WordPress. Alright, so you just saw how easy it is to install WordPress. Now let me show you the basics under the hood so you can get started using WordPress right away. The first thing to look at is your dashboard. And you'll get to this by going to whatever your domain name is. In this case, this is petcoupons.co. So you'd go to the, that domain, petcoupons.co slash wp-admin. That will take you to a login screen. You enter in your username and password. You end up here at your dashboard. And this is the main hub for everything you're going to do in WordPress. What you'll see on the left is a navigation menu. The first thing I want to talk about is changing the theme that you're using. And to do this, you'll go to Appearance. The theme is the look and feel of your site, and the really neat thing about WordPress is that without having to know anything about Adobe Photoshop or HTML, you can get a really great looking site quickly and easily by installing a WordPress theme. To install themes, all you have to do is select Install Themes. By default, WordPress will have a pretty nice looking theme, but usually this is the first thing you'll want to do when you're setting up a new WordPress site, is customize the theme. Now, if you download a theme from somebody like Woo Themes or Elegant Themes, all you have to do is select Upload, and you'll keep the theme in its zipped file. It'll say here, keep it in the zip format. Make sure you do that, because that's the file you'll download directly from Woo Themes or Elegant Themes or wherever you're buying a theme from. Uh, and then you select Browse, and you just pick where on your desktop it's located, where on your computer it's located, hit Install Now, and the theme will become available. Um, you can also look at featured themes, and all this can run directly through WordPress, which is pretty neat. So in this case, you can find themes that you like and just click install, and you've got a theme going right away. And you'll see there's a lot of different themes that are available. Uh, you don't have to pay for your themes. You can use free themes, but if you do want to use a more premium theme, uh, like I said, I recommend both Woo themes and Elegant themes. So go to Manage Themes, and this will show you what I've done is I've actually set up a... Um, theme through WooThemes called the Canvas. 
So I just did the upload, and now I just click Activate. And so once you add a theme, it'll show here under Available Themes, and you click Activate to activate the themes. You can have as many themes as you want loaded into WordPress, but you can only have one activated at a time. However, this can help you kind of A-B test if you'd like and try a few different designs of your site pretty easily. Now what you'll notice, and this is a really neat thing about WooThemes, is I have an entire panel here on the left just to manage this theme. So you can see I have theme options, and within here, now WooThemes is really, really detailed, and that's one of the reasons why these are themes that cost money versus the, the uh, free themes. But you'll see I have all this detail, all these configurations that I can make without myself having to write any code. And that's a great thing about WordPress. Um, you can see here there's even some options for SEO. Going back into appearance, the other thing you should know is how you can actually get um, those links, those ads, whatever it is that you want onto your site really easily. And that's widgets. Most WordPress themes have sidebars, either on the left or the right, sometimes on both sides. And you can access them by going to widgets under appearance. And now you'll see, here's my primary. It's a normal full width sidebar. And what I can do is take a text block here and drag it in. And within this text block, that's where I can put my ad code. So I could put Google AdSense code. I could put ad code from Commission Junction or Share a Sale uh, affiliate programs. Uh, or I could put my own ad code for direct banner ads. That would go right there, and that would appear in the sidebar. Um, and you'll see in some cases there's multiple footers, but it's really easy to use WordPress to take any code you have from a monetization partner and just drag and drop it in and have it appear on the sidebar there. So now you understand how to set up your theme, how to install some widgets here. Let's go into plugins. Plugins are ways to add some really neat customizations to your site and some really powerful features. Akismet is probably one of the most important plugins. You'll want to make sure to activate this. This will put an end to comment spam, and if you're running any kind of WordPress site, comment spam can really grow as your site traffic grows. Akismet is fantastic uh, at eliminating uh, comment spam. The other uh, plugins I would suggest is All-in-One SEO Pack. This is a really great plugin that allows you to do some pretty neat SEO optimizations. It's also completely free. Uh, Bad Behavior uh, actually denies these spam bots that are trying to access your site. Um, and inject spam links. It denies them access, which is pretty nice. Um, and then Secure WordPress and WP Security Scan are two of my kind of standard go-to plugins for security. Uh, Secure WordPress will do some basic security checks for you, and WP Security Scan will actually let you perform scans of your installation, make sure everything is secure. That's a really nice, uh, nice two plugins to have to make sure that your site is secure. Now, how do you add these plugins? All you have to do is, in the left menu here, select Add New. And now what you can do is you can actually search plugins across WordPress. So I can just say, okay, if I want all-in-one SEO, I type that in, and I hit Search Plugins. And what this will do is search directly, uh, and I can see, okay, there's all-in-one SEO pack. In this case, it's installed. But any other plugin I want, I can just click Install Now, and then it'll show up under installed plugins. So I hope this gives you all the basics that you need to know to get started. Of course, the last thing you'll want to know is you've got a great looking theme, you have all your plugins installed, well where do you put all those articles? And that goes under posts. So if you select posts, these are your blog posts, this will show up in most themes in a main central area within the site and uh, you'll see here this is a pet coupon site that we're looking at. Um, and so all I have to do is select Add New, and this is how I'll actually write a post. And all I have to do once this loads is add a title here, and then write my article in here. Uh, that's it. It's really that simple. And I'll drag this in so you can see, once you've written your article, what you'll want to do is uh, just click Publish. And then it will publish onto your site. You can make any changes and just update later really easy to do and this literally the process of installing a WordPress theme getting it configured and then having one of your articles live on your site this can all happen in an hour or two without writing a single line of code alright there you go you now know how to install WordPress and set up a simple WordPress site and enhance it with things like themes 
plugins and get started writing right away. Add posts and as you do, make sure that you're adding high quality content. Don't copy and paste from other people's sites. Write your own content or hire someone that's a great writer that can put truly great, unique content on your sites. Thanks for watching this video. We really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure to take a look below. You'll find a way to subscribe to our videos, and you'll also find a lot of the links that I talked about when I spoke about specific services during this video. And please, please, please comment below on iGoldRush. That's right. Commenting is your chance to let your voice be heard. And here's what I'm going to do. When everybody comments, I'm going to pick one comment from the list of comments that we get, and the beginning of the following episode, I'll actually respond to that comment in a video. Just another great reason why you should comment, interact, because we'll be interacting directly with each other, and if your comment is picked, then I'll be responding to your comment via video probably a month from now. So, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great time getting started with WordPress, and we'll see you in a month. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the iGoldrush Report. If you have any questions or comments or any other topics you'd like discussed, please visit our website at www.igoldrush.com and we look forward to hearing from you.